Today marks one year since the attacks on the United States Capitol. Congress was there to certify the 2020 election results when a pro-Trump mob breached the building. Our Caroline Cummings spoke with some Minnesota members of Congress about that day. Minnesota's Democratic members of Congress say they're still coming to terms with what happened when their workplace and a symbol of American democracy came under attack. My first reaction was total disbelief. Congressman Dean Phillips was trapped inside the House chamber. He recalls texting his family. Reassuring them uh, that we would uh, be okay, uh, despite at that very moment for those 15 minutes, really not knowing if I was misleading them. For Senator Tina Smith, it's not just memories of that day that linger, but the day before, talking with her husband. He said, are you going to be okay? You know, the, the, is it going to be okay? And I said, don't worry. This, the United States Capitol must be one of the safest places in the world. Senator Amy Klobuchar has held hearings to make sure that's true and that security failures won't happen again. She was a key lawmaker during election certification and remembers the promise she and her Republican counterpart made. And we said, whatever we do, we're going to go back and finish our job tonight. When they did, Klobuchar says it's a moment that still gives her hope. And we took that walk through the broken glass, through the statues that were spray painted, to the house and finished our job. And it gave me this faith in our democracy that no matter what, it will triumph. And as the years go on, lawmakers don't want memories of it to vanish or get rewritten. We just can't normalize what happened on January 6th, and we can't normalize what's happened since. I believe our democracy is still under attack, and January 6th is not over. Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. Staff members at Ilhan Omar's office said the Democrat was not available for an interview today. We also reached out to the Minnesota Republican representatives from Minnesota. They did not respond. A statement from the state GOP did not mention the attack. It does, though, say in part that the DFL is using disingenuous language to accuse Republicans of encouraging violence.